far distance of the universe is the desolate planet of Gemini, last outpost of civilization, a prison planet, harboring only the most desperate of criminals. It was little wonder that Flash Gordon, upon receipt of orders to fly Dale Arden on a mission to Gemini, had some strong words for Commissioner Herrick. I don't like this assignment, Commissioner Herrick. The Sky Flash isn't a prison van. Granted. Nevertheless, the assignment is an order. We don't have another spaceship that can reach Gemini in half the time it will take the Sky Flash. And speed is the essential. Okay. Then let Dr. Zarkloff make the trip with me instead of Dale. He installed the oxygen purification system in the Gemini prison. It's only logical that he repair it. Impossible. I can't take him up the solar thermal project. He must report on it to the Galaxy Council next week. I don't know what you're so worried about, Flash. I can take care of myself. And if I can't, you can. This prisoner Gatekiss is one of the worst killers in the universe, Dale. I don't like the idea of your being exposed to any crazy attempt he might make to take over the Sky Flash and escape. I guarantee you, you'll be securely manacled and shackled. Now, be reasonable, Flash. I must go with you because, well, so far, Dr. Zarkoff and I are the only people who know the principles of the Solonin rectifier and its application to the purification system. And if it isn't fixed soon, every prisoner, every worker, and every guard on Gemini will die of suffocation within 24 hours. Okay, but I don't like it. Get a flight plan ready, will you, Dale? We'll blast off at 16 hours. Good luck. <laughs> well, he flutters over me like a mother hen. <laughs> you know, Flash is a funny person. With all his modern skill and intelligence, he still has very old-fashioned 20th century ideas. He's also got a sixth sense where trouble is concerned. Maybe he's right. Oh, there can't be any trouble. We'll deliver Gatekiss to the warden. I'll patch up the oxygen purifier, and we'll all be back here before you know it. Of course you will. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, Commissioner. All right, take him to the processing room. Sure, I'm glad to get rid of that baby, Warden. So am I, Flash, but... Well, you must admit all your worrying about his trying to escape was a bit foolish. <laughs> Not so foolish, madame. Jim and I is the last stop for these incurable criminals. Once here, they know there's no chance of escape. That's exactly my point. The trip from Earth here is their last chance. I know of cases where they've tricked and overpowered the pilot and escaped with a spaceship. Your friend Flaggart was one of them. Remember, Flash? The first time he was captured, Dale, he escaped. That's when Flash went after him and captured him. It was Flaggot I had in mind. It's good to know, though, that there's at least one place where killers like Flaggot and Gatekiss can't break out. Well, it's getting late. Do you want to go to work on the oxygen purifier, Dale, so we can get back to Earth? Okay. Would you lead the way, Ward? Oh, what a forsaken place. <laughs> Come and get it. Get that slope away from here. I'm sure not going to feed you, Flaggot. If you don't want to eat, that's your business. Get out of here. Why don't you cut it out, Flaggot? You have been acting like a caged tiger ever since you came up here. What good will it do you? You're here. You're never going to get off. I'll get off. But you have got a debt to pay like mine to the guy who right ordered me here. You find ways. Not from here. You don't. Him and Flesh Gordon. The guy who railroaded me here and the guy who caught me. Both of them. I'll catch up with them. And when I do... <laughs> Gordon, you couldn't have a better chance. He's here, right now. He just delivered another one of you bad boys. Gordon here? Yes. I'll bet that eats you. So near and yet so far. Yeah. It's on the end, yet so far. 
Well, I guess I might as well eat my grub and make the best of things. No, you're talking sense. You get 90 days in the hole for this blackguard. Get out! Get away from here! Get out! Hi, Flash. Hiya, Pete. Everything checked? Almost. Just have to finish the radar assembly check and you'll be ready for blast off. Can't be soon enough for me. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'll be glad when my two year hitch is up here, too. about ready to blast off? Sure thing, Dale. I see Pete's tool bag is over there on the table, so I guess he's all done. How about you? Is the purification system okay now? Perfect. This beautiful young lady knows her business. Good. Then we can get ready to blast off. Thanks for coming and helping us, Miss Arden. I really do appreciate it. Warden! Warden! Yes, Blake, what is? What happened with you? It was Blake's fur. He is on a rampage again. But how thunder did he get at you? Grabbed me through the bars. He's been yelling as usual that he's going to break out, that he's going to get even with the guy who railroaded him here. That'd be Breshkan, his old gang boss on the planet Leo. He's gunning for you too, Flesh. When I told him you were here, that's when he went berserk. I guess that's all he dreams about up here, getting Breshkan and getting me. Thank goodness he won't be able to get to you, Flesh. Well, I handled him once. I guess I could do it again. Well, I know it's impossible, but just the thought of his escaping... Well, I'd better get up there and calm Flagger down. And I know you're both anxious to take off. Goodbye. Bye. 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 is blast off time at the control tower. That's in uh, three minutes. Right. I'd better check our flight plan with the meteoroid cluster schedules in this area. We certainly don't want to run into one of those. Right. Sound the alarm. I've got the warm gun. Flag of may be on the sky flash. There's a meteoroid cluster about 10 light minutes away, Flash. You'll have time to pick it up on radar. Right. I'm taking the landing ladder up now. Only 30 seconds to take off. Open the ATO fuel chambers, will you, Dale? Warden, play, play got to board the Sky Flash. He knocked me out and, and tied me up. I tried to warn you, Flash. Okay, okay. 
I've got to contact him by radio. Hope I can warn him before Flaggart gets him. I've never been so glad to get away from a place in all my life. You're just afraid of Flaggart, that's all. Hey, you're getting awfully fresh, young lady. I'm going to have to teach you a little discipline and respect. Oh? I suppose you think you're just the man who can do it. Careful now, I'm liable to take you up on that. Well, go ahead. But I warn you, I'll be the toughest pupil you've ever had. Not so tough. Taming a young lady's like taming a young wild colt. The friskier they are, the harder you have to bear down on the reins, that's all. Any questions? I said any questions. Gemini, oh, Dale? calling Skyflash. Warning, convict Flaggart has escaped. Warning, he's probably on your ship, Flash. Don't do that, Gordon. If you do just like I say, you and your girlfriend can live a little while longer. Flash, can you answer? Flash Gordon and Skyflash. Can you answer? I see. Flaggart's got you. Go ahead, Gordon. Open the circuit. Let me talk to the warden. I forgot to give him my respects when I left. Give me your hand, Mike, so I can talk. What's wrong, warden? Do you miss me? Flaggart. What have you done to Flash Gordon and Dale Arden? Nothing for the moment. But when the time comes, I've got a beautiful idea. I'm warning you, Flaggart. If you harm them, you will pay a penalty that will make your present sentence seem like a vacation. Don't make me laugh, Warden. You'll never get me back. Once I'm through with Gordon, I'm dropping him out of the hedge. For the next million years, he can fall through space and think about me. The GBI will have every ship in the galaxy after you in five minutes. Turn around, come back, and I will give you clemency. Get some sense, Warden. No ship in the galaxy can catch the sky flash. With all of its souped-up power and secret gadgets, it can outrun and outfight anything in the either. Flaggart, listen to me. No, you listen to me, Warden. When I finished with Gordon, then paid a visit to Breshkin, I'm taking the Skyflash out of the galaxy. I know a couple of planets in the Firmature Galaxy Group that will pay a high price for some of the secret equipment. <laughs> chances of getting out of this cluster are nil. Get us out, and I'll give you a chance to live. The gun, give it to me. Oh, no. I'd rather die this way than go back to that forsaken rock. Oh, Flash, I can't keep this up. I can't avoid the wall. But we're coming into the center where we crushed. Flaggins, let Flash take the control or we'll all be killed. Well, Gordon. Okay. Flash, can we get out of it? Oh. I don't know, Dale. I don't know. Buster, Flash Gordon tries to maneuver the Sky Flash to safety. While back on the prison planet of Gemini, Warden Morris reports convict Flaggett's daring escape aboard the Sky Flash to Commissioner Herrick at GBI headquarters. Then, while Flaggett was talking to me, there was a sudden blast and the circuit went dead. I don't know what happened in the sky flash. Flash and Dale prisoners of that mad killer. Warden Morris, how could you be so negligent? How could Commissioner, you? Commissioner, anger is not going to save Flash and Dale. Well, what can we do? And it's not only Flash and Dale. What about the sky flash with all the secret equipment aboard? I'm bitterly sorry, Commissioner. I take full responsibility. But isn't there some way of stopping Flaggart, of catching the sky flash? There is no spaceship in the universe that can catch it. Do you have any ideas, Dr. Sarkov? Yes, as a matter of fact. If we knew Flaggett's destination, we could chart his course by the fuel stops he would have to make. If you know where Brashkin is at the moment, that's Flaggett's destination. Brashkin? Of course, Flaggett would be heading for him to get his revenge. Brashkin, did you hear that? Our last reports were that Brashkin had a hideout in the magnetic mountains of the planet Leo. Then Consequently, by figuring the atto fuel consumption of the sky flash, we can pretty well localize the galactic area where they'll have to refuel. Careful, Dr. Zarkov. The Skyflash left here with only a half-load. Half-load? Hmm. 
All right, Warden. Thanks. What can we do? If I can notice the sky route, get into the magnetic mountains here. We can't keep them out. What can we do? Do, Mickey. They're going to climb into our spaceship and take off. But for where? He'll find us. We can't escape. <laughs> cave. Who said anything about us, Cave? We go now to find Flaggart. What? What? We've got a rendezvous with Flaggart on a planet Ariel, where he and I planted a fuel cache. While he's on the ground, we blast him and the sky flesh the kingdom come. Come on, let's get going. There's only one place they can possibly land, Commissioner. The planet Ariel. Deadly atmosphere. More deadly even than Gemini. They can't possibly land there. But where else is they... Commissioner, have you heard a word I've said? What? No, um... I'm sorry, I've... I've just made the most difficult decision in my life. What do you mean? You know that, Flash and Dale and you mean more to me than anything else in the universe. But I've got to think of my duty to the galaxy before everything. You agree, don't you? Of course. Well, we don't know if Flash and Dale are dead or alive. All we know is that Flag is in the control of the ship. And I can't let the secret of the Sky Flash get into enemy hands. So, I'll have to destroy it. I'll have a ship ready to blast off in 15 minutes. We should be able to get to the planet Ariel in time to destroy the Sky Flash. If it lands there. Are we out of the meteor cluster? Looks like it. Nothing else showing up on radar. Looks like we're free, all right. I guess this is just my lucky day. What now? We have enough atoll fuel to last us for about three hours. Set a course for the planet Leo. Leo? You're crazy. That's at least 24 hours away. You're not so lucky that you can make the sky flash go without fuel. We refuel at Ariel. Ariel? Right. But there's nothing on Ariel. Nobody even goes near there. It has the most deadly atmosphere in the galaxy. One breath means death. Even space helmets are no protection. You are really a smart girl. Everything you said is true. Except for one thing. Some people do go there. I have been there. Not long enough to take a breath, but long enough to dump a fuel cache. It's sitting there waiting and we are going to get it. Now get working on a course before I get my nice men as I taught me on German Eye. Or I slip you good and fair! Better do as he says, Dale. Do exactly as he says. That's area. I'd recognize that blasted spot any time. The dumb call. Right. Landing positions. Okay. Get up, Gordon. We sit down right next to the fuel dump. Well, you can't go out there. One breath of Ariel's atmosphere and you'll both suffocate. You look like a man with pretty fair lungs, Gordon. How long do you figure you can hold your breath? About two minutes. I can do better. Spend a lot of spare time on Jamie and I trying it. I can almost make three minutes. You expect to get the fuel aboard in that time? Why not? The fuel is right next to the ship. Gravity pressure on Ariel is low, makes the tanks light enough. I think we can make it under three minutes. Three minutes? Maybe you can make it, God. Maybe you'll be lucky. Don't try anything while we are gone, for his sake. We'll have to use the door to the control room as an airlock, Dale. Close it after us. Don't open it again until you're sure we're back inside with the outer port locked. 
If you still want to go through with this mad idea, you're going to get us both killed. Get going. But if he has not open up. Screamed. Screamed. Can't scream without drawing a breath. Approaching target. Ready with the disintegrator gun. Wait a minute. Spaceship approaching. One of ours? No, a black ship. The black Jaguar. Breshkin's ship. Set the tractor gun. Ready for a run? Another spaceship! She's got his caught in the disintegrator gun. Dive! Dive the ship! We're caught! Caught! Crash! The black spaceship. I saw it coming toward us. Black Jaguar. It crashed. Look, Dale. A GBI patrol ship. They must have shot down the black Jaguar. But they're headed toward us. They're firing at us. I just think Flaggett is still in control of the ship. Quick, Dale, set the disintegrator guns. Well, how can I do that, Flash? We can't fire our own ship. Quick, Dale. The sky flash is answering our fire. That's funny. What's the matter? His disintegrator ray is blinking on and off. It's cold. He's using his gun to send cold. F L A S H. Flash Gordon, he's at the controls. He's safe. Thank heaven. I'll signal him to blast off and follow us back to Earth. Yeah. They got our signal, Flash. They're standing by to escort us home. Home. Gee, what a wonderful word. Let her sail, Dale. Let her sail, Dale. <laughs> 